Hello and welcome to EC QuickBooks Training, where you can get how-tos, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. Today we're going to learn how to record a bounce check in QuickBooks Online. Now in the QuickBooks Desktop, it's very easy to record a bounce check. Let me show you. Under the Customer Payment window, there is a button that says Record Bounce Check. Let me show you what this does. QuickBooks is going to automatically do this for us, but it's asking us a few questions first. It's saying how much did we get charged for this bounce check? So we could put here our fee, which is going to be recorded um, in QuickBooks under bank service charges. And it's asking us what we want to charge our customer for that bounce check. When we hit next, QuickBooks tells us what will happen. It tells us that it will mark the invoice unpaid, it will create a check for the bounce check and a service fee, and it's going to bill our client the service uh, fee of the bounce check. So this is essentially what we're going to do in QuickBooks Online because there is no button like this in QuickBooks Online like there is in um, the, Quick the desktop version. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go back to QuickBooks Online and let's start recording this bounce check. The check that I'm going to record as a bounce check will be $105 that was paid in November 13th. So this is the payment that I'm going to record as returned. I'm going to start by recording a check and entering the customer name under the payee. So I'm going to put Amy's Bird Sanctuary. I'm going to put the date it was returned. I can also put the date, uh, I'm sorry, the check number. Under account, I'm going to put accounts receivable. What this will do is it will increase the balance under Amy's Bird Sanctuary. And it's going to increase accounts receivable. I'm going to put $105 under the amount. I could put here um, bounce check under description. And I'm going to save this. Okay, now let's go back to that payment that was done in November. It was this one. Let's open that up. And you can see here the check that I just entered. So I'm going to unselect the invoice because we want that invoice open. We want the invoice open that the bounce check was applied to. So I'm going to click check, the check that I just entered, and I'm going to save it. Now what this will do is we're going to have the original invoice that the check, that the payment was applied to. Now when they make another payment, we can apply it to that invoice. We're going to save and close. Yes, we want to modify this payment. And now what I'm going to record is the fee that I got charged from the bank. So I'm going to open that invoice and I'm going to select my product. You can create a, an item fee that says a bounce check fee. But for now, I'm going to, all I'm going to do is write um, bounce check fee. But if you have an item, please do use your item. And you can create one as well. So that, um, I put $12. So the balance is now $117. Because it was $105 for the payment. And the $12 is $117. So I'm going to save and close. I'm going to hit yes. Okay. Now, the way to record the fee that the bank is charging us, we create another check by going to check or expense. And then when your bank fees come in, we can match it to that expense or that check. And that is how you record a bounce check in QuickBooks Online. I hope that this um, has helped you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more tips and tricks, how-tos, or troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.